One more day at IDEX 2021 with Army Recognition, the official media partner of this stunning defense exhibition. It's really hard to select among the many, many subjects we have for you. But today, we show you a selection that we hope you will appreciate. Hello, uh, my name is Nikos Kaloyanis. Uh, I'm the director of operations of uh, EFA Group. And uh, we are here in uh, Abu Dhabi for uh, IDEX and NAVTEX to give our, our best of our presence here. Actually, our group of companies uh, uh, are present here. This is not the first time. And we always select uh, this event in order to showcase something different and something new. Uh, this year, uh, our uh, company, Skitalis, presented uh, some new products uh, that have to do with uh, the naval domain and the land domain, apart from the airborne domain that they uh, used to, to do in the, in the previous shows. Here actually uh, what we uh, are here to, to show is uh, 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 the technology that uh, our group of companies can bring to the customer, uh, to the user and to, our, to the people that, and to the companies that we can do synergies together. So our company uh, brings technology uh, that is developed inside the group and also uh, is the facilitator that can bring synergies and cooperations uh, in various domains in order to uh, help companies develop their own technology. Here I would like to show you, uh, this is the, we are in the stand of uh, Skitalis, which is a company of our group. Uh, it's very, the company is very active and we have extended experience in the tactical uh, systems and mission systems. And here we've showcased in the first time uh, the uh, a MIMS Ranger product, which is a new product that uh, um, has been uh, developed for the land forces and for dismounted solutions. So we can see here that uh, this system uh, is really uh, flexible and uh, can be uh, mounted on a, on a soldier's vest, battle vest, and in particular uh, we are talking about the tactical situation and the tactical awareness of a dismounted soldier. This uh, system has been already fielded, it is uh, used by uh, a NATO operator and uh, it is composed of uh, the, the core of the system which is the, the, an, aerial, an Android application which is very flexible and the radio system. And of course it can, uh, it can provide to the user uh, the tactical situation and also uh, image and video in real time. Here we have uh, 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 the, the mission systems and the tactical systems that we have uh, in our booth and we showcase it uh, to, the, to the potential customers. A lot of people and a lot of countries come, came here and uh, saw and uh, appreciated uh, our efforts. We are talking here about uh, a mission system uh, that can be uh, mounted on board uh, tactical ships and um, uh, it can support the operations by doing uh, uh, tactical uh, um, uh, operations and, and tactical, tactical information to the user and of course the, what is important is to, to, to pinpoint the fact that uh, this system can be interoperable with the dismounted. So in this case um, we can, see, we can uh, say uh, that uh, we produce products that can um, create to the user, to the end user, a real uh, interoperability capability. So in this way, uh, whether you are in the land, in the, in the surface or in the air, you can share any, uh, the picture and you can conduct operations. And of course, uh, we can do this also with uh, drones uh, in the field, we can do with the airplanes and of course with people and with soldiers uh, in, uh, uh, in, in the field.
Mohamed Salem Al Amri, Karakal International CEO. Let me talk about Karakal in general. So Karakal is the small arms manufacturer in UAE. So we make pistols, uh, submachine guns, uh, assault rifles in different calibers, 5.56762, and sniper lines. So we have 308 snipers, uh, 338 and 12.7, both in bolt action and in semi-automatic. In this show, we are announcing the new Karakal sniper, 338 caliber, semi-automatic. So now we can uh, see that the request from the customers to go for the semi-automatic for the sniper uh, that more than the bolt action. And uh, this is uh, one of the lightest, semi-automatic 338, 6.5 kilograms, uh, side uh, charging handle, a very low profile, and with a very unique uh, gas uh, piston that can have you know, the suppressor mode and the normal mode. It's very smooth. So the range of the 338 goes for 1,400 meters, and this gives a lot of uh, tactical range and missions for the user of this rifle. Uh, the magazines, we can have different uh, type of capacities, 10 uh, rounds, 15 rounds, and we are now developing you know, a, a drum magazine that can take 25 rounds for this mission. Finally, we have the Gen 2 pistol from Karakal. And what we did is basically took all the feedback from the old Enhanced F Karakal and make it better. And uh, the customers was waiting for this announcement. We have a lot of uh, uh, shooters around the world asking about the Gen 2. And finally, we announced it here in Karakal. This is the, be the better version of the Enhanced F. So basically, there's a lot of uh, unique detail that it's actually inside the gun. But I will tell you that the changeable rear sight, it's one of the features. Before you have that, uh, the, the fixed rear sight, now the customer can go for the aftermarket he can change the rear sight as much as they want or the way it will fit them so this is good also for the sporting uh, side of uh, using the the pistol now we have the solid slide uh, different than the old one so now it's uh, more rugged and uh, lighter in weight and the, th the third feature that we have now the slot for the optic in the last uh, five years we saw a lot of the customers going for you know the optical solutions for the pistol and this this is this is a feature was not uh, available in the old uh, caracal and now it's available in the new one so basically this is let's say this is like you know the uh, the new features uh, plus we kept uh, the classic uh, grip of uh, the caracal which is one of the the most uh, positive features of uh, Karakal pistol. So we keep that. So we keep that. We did not take that away uh, from the for the shooter feeling. The loyal customers that always looking for Karakal products, uh, they, they know there is something unique about Karakal products. Karakal products was designed and built to handle one of the hardest environments in the world. And uh, so when we design our products, we design it that it can work and it's going to be durable and safe into the hard conditions in the Middle East, sand, salt water, humidity. And this is the reputation that we have. That's why we have uh, you know, a lot of requests from other uh, countries, from other uh, users around the world to get that uh, type of weapons. We can uh, start with uh, our achievements in area of uh, complex weapon systems, uh, particularly artillery and combat vehicles. NORA uh, has been exported to the many countries in the Africa, uh, actually the Far East and uh, Europe also. It is uh, also a service in our, in our armed forces for many years and very effective weapon covering uh, good uh, mobility, protection, also quantity of 
ammunition itself, the combat set, range and the automatic operation of uh, all basic uh, functions. Our combination of mobility, efficiency, uh, creative fire, uh, also ready, ready for fire time, preparation for fire time and also the fire uh, position releasing time also is very good. Alexander is uh, practically the, 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 the new version which is uh, uh, practically increasing uh, rate of fire uh, by using a totally different uh, type of uh, uh, loading mechanism. Uh, continuous uh, 12 rounds and projectiles with different way of loading and uh, reaching the, 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 the actually firing, date, firing rate about six to seven rounds per minute and has also additional 12 rounds in reloading mechanism so that can fire 24 rounds for few minutes including reloading time of magazine which is done by, by automatically also. You can see here also the movie showing basic ability. Uh, Nora is based particularly up to now at uh, Kamas chassis, but also is available with, with Rye Metal Man chassis. Uh, for example, this Alexander has been integrated already at Rye Metal Man chassis. Talking about different, of course, customer needs and different approach. Uh, basically, we can put at the other chassis so some performances. And uh, Alexander also has a uh, higher level of motivation because crew of two only, only working of this, of this weapon, as I said. Milos and Lazar representing our approach to development of uh, armored wheel vehicles. And uh, we are speaking about uh, Milos as like a typical example of um, uh, armored tactical vehicle. I tell him armor tactical vehicle because combining, combining good uh, anti-tank mine protection level of 2A, 2B according to Stanak 4569 uh, and also uh, providing for two, two, uh, two level protection, uh, protection of three on, at all arc around which is relatively high level protection for such kind of vehicle, of vehicle, of vehicle actually, the, 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 the class particularly mine. So that it is combining MRAP design with uh, also providing of mine of light tactical vehicle design. Total weight is 12 tons. It is combining a very good, uh, very good uh, ratio between uh, internal space volume, able for accommodate eight guys with those uniform. I'm uh, sorry, those equipment, uh, ammunition, uh, equipment systems. Uh, uh, of course, the sun. The other in gear, and let some supply, logistic, etc. Everything in in the cabin. Also providing for good protection level, as I said, and good ability for mounting of different kind of weapons. In this case, uh, remote control weapon station, 50 caliber, with uh, or without stabilization, and different types of bigger. Uh, remote control weapon stations uh, in area of multiple launch uh, uh, rocket systems. Uh, we are actually Serbian Defense Industry and Yugo Import. We are very proud on our achievements in area of multiple launch rocket systems uh, since early 60s. This one is Tamnava. Tamnava is also named for the Serbian river and area around this river. Uh, it is a modular multi-caliber rocket launcher. In this case, uh, practically uh, covering two basic calibers, one, two, two. Uh, calibers with, uh, as you can see here, uh, with uh, four modules by 24 rockets per module. Uh, two of those modules ready for fire, two of those modules at platform with crane for the reloading after a few minutes after, after it is reloading time. Uh, can launch 48 long rockets from one salvo and plus ad additional 48 after a few minutes of reloading. It is in version 1 to 2. Uh, 1 to 2 configuration. Depending on tactical situation, battlefield, commander can of course decide that he can go to battle with uh, 96 rockets 1 to 2 with uh, 4 modules, 2 ready for fire, and to fire 48 plus 48 for a few minutes after reloading with, with, with self integrated crane. A very powerful crane. Of course, commander can decide to go to battle with a 262 mm rocket with two modules with 262 caliber 
totally 12 rockets, two modules by six. And uh, in this case, commander can decide to go to battle with those six, 12 rockets, range 70 kilometers, talking about non-guided rocket. And after that, he also can, can exchange those two modules and put two uh, modules with one, one to two with, with 48 uh, rockets. But totally, it is allowed, allowed by, by lo loading of, actually, cabin of, I'm sorry, the loading of the, the chassis and can go to, to the battle with two types of rockets. And depending on the situation, the battlefield can launch those 12 plus 48 or 48 plus plus, plus 48.